manhood throughout history and across cultures has, with almost no exceptions that I'm aware of, been defined as requiring violent behavior. Men are expected to be violent in many circumstances, and they are shamed if they're not violent. Uh, shamed by being called sissies, or cowards, or wimps, or in the case of the military, deserters. When men do kill other people, there are many well-recognized circumstances in which they are honored for that. And uh, so they can gain pride from being violent. Uh, let me paraphrase a, a statement that Bernard Shaw said once. He said that when a man steals 100 pounds, he's sent to jail. But if he steals 100,000 pounds, he gets sent to parliament. And I think something similar is true about violence. When a man kills one person, he is likely to get sent to prison. If he kills 10 people, he may get sent to a prison mental hospital. But if he kills 100,000 people, he may be named Emperor of Rome or Duke of Marlborough or President of the United States. In other words, we honor men who are mass murderers. I've talked with many prison inmates who've commented about their own experiences with violence, that they would get beat up as children by another boy and they would go home crying to their parents, and their parents would say, you go back and beat him up, or I'll beat you up myself. The sad thing is that because of that, violence can succeed for males, whether they're boys or men, as a way of maintaining or restoring their self-esteem and self-respect. It's a way of undoing whatever shame they've experienced from being defeated or beaten up. Men are um, defined by our culture uh, as violence objects, meaning that they, they are the people who are supposed to both perpetrate violence, whether they want to or not, and they're often forced to at gunpoint in warfare, or as, as victims of violence. Uh, and men are most often both the perpetrators of lethal violence and they're by far and away the most frequent victims of lethal violence. Women, however, are treated as acceptable, you know, women who will be honored primarily if they sacrifice their sexual subjectivity, their own sexual autonomy and freedom and become, you might say, the sex slaves of the men in their family.